What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon video. It's a PSA Returns. It's been a while since we've done one of these because it took, uh, let's see, 15, no, 16 months. So I sent this in uh, January and next, not the following May, but the next year's May is when I got it back. Um, this submission has a good amount of like, all right, yes, we got the grade we're looking for, a good number of letdowns, and then some real head scratchers of like, all right, me, uh, <laughs> all those months ago, what was I thinking sending this card? All right, we're starting off with a random hidden fates. There's a lot of Zards in this uh, submission, but we're starting off with a Mewtwo, very solid uh, 10 right there. Um, hopefully I'll have the hidden fates you know, PSA 10 set completed once the, all my grades come back. Here we have a pre-release Don fan. So we opened a long time ago <laughs> on the channel a handful of the Vivid Voltage B&B boxes. We did get one Don fan with the PSA 10, but kind of uh, we did good with these boxes because we got a Charizard PSA 10. Now this is just a solid card. Like I have to imagine the staff one is like crazy price. Uh, just that's a very good art and we again we did pretty well because we got another Charizard PSA 10 and this one is just a PSA 9 hmm let's see um, I don't know maybe there's just like just a little minor I don't know this card looks pretty good but happy with the result there uh, I think here on we just have the regular Vivid Voltage Charizards, and we sent a bunch of them. And kind of when I was going through the grades, like, oh yes, we have some tens. Like, oh wait, they're just Vivid Voltage non <laughs> Charizards. Uh, sent in a bunch of them, pretty easy to grade. So we'll just kind of uh, add that to our Charizard collection. All right, what we got next? Ooh, okay. So you can see here's some of the head scratches. Like, why did I send this in? Like, obviously this card is super worn. Uh, but it is a Stormfront, I believe this is the Secret Rare Charizard, yeah, 103 out of 100, you can see more creases here. Uh, very deserving of this 4. Um, all I can say is, you know what, I got this, all these cards graded at the cheap price of $10, which is probably never going to happen again, so as I see some of these really weak grades, and oh my gosh, like, well, why was this card scented? Um, as I see some of these really poor grades, the silver lining is, well, you got a good deal <laughs> grading service and, uh, at prices unlikely to be seen again. All right, let's take a look at this card. All right, so we got a significant thing in the corner. So, okay, that makes sense because this was a disappointing one. Uh, when I saw that I got the, this at a nine, um, when I got back into the hobby, this was Shining Legends kind of like was one of the new sets that you could buy in stores. And oh my God, when I saw this card, I had to pick them up. And, um, but yeah, that one got nine. So this is another Mewtwo, uh, spoiler, did get the nine. I don't know, maybe there's something down here. Uh, this card looks good. Centering looks pretty good. Ah, uh, I got the nine. One, one tedious thing about some of these cards is like the, the back centering looks pretty good, but then the front, you know, all right, this, this, these two borders, uh, the top and the bottom, not equal. So, all right, fair enough. What we got next? More Zards, Charizard, Legendary Collection, non-hollow. Take a look at the back and oh my, <laughs> all right, $10, this only cost $10, okay? <laughs> now I'm, I'm talking to myself here and another Charizard. This one is the Power Keepers. And, uh, yeah, a five, um, you know what, so this one doesn't look nearly as bad as some of those other fives, and, uh, so yeah, a little bit of a head scratcher, I feel like when I shine them at the right angles, um, usually when there's no, you know, not a lot of edge wear, there's like a, kind of like a crease or a bend somewhere for these fives, I couldn't see it on that one, but and uh, at when when the price to grade it was only $10 and it's like, you know, what am I fighting for to bump that up to like, I don't know, best case scenario, seven, like it's not worth it given the new prices for everything. All right, so we got another Charizard. I see some whitening on the edges. Uh, PSA six from Boundaries Cross, the Cosmo. All right, another Charizard, another five. Ooh, I do like this art. LTR during the black and white era and so yeah like look at all this edge wear all right that's definitely a five that one actually had edge wear too but some of them i don't know off the comb 
all right here we have one oh, plenty of edge wear but it's a dark charizard happy to get any of these graded <laughs> yes a4 is pretty pretty really disappointing but again that makes sense and uh so yeah when i got the email for like these grades or like i knew they're on the website i was like oh my gosh i got destroyed and now i got the cards back <laughs> like yep that's that's pretty fair all right this one looks much better but yep there's still definitely some edge wear so psa 9 actually that might be kind of a uh you know i'm not sure generous the right word uh, but if actually if that's all that there is it wouldn't shock me if this came back in eight and we got a first edition non hollow Jarzar. this one is non hollow unlimited PSA 8 and uh, yeah plenty of edgeware there and again maybe this is a pretty uh, lucky eight or generous I'm not sure what the right word is I see somewhere in the corners uh, this is um I feel like at one point this card was like so cheap I think it came in it's a promo card uh, but I love this art. I don't think I have a 10 But uh, here's an 8. I think I graded a bunch of these So when I got back into the hobby, they were pretty cheap We did get a 9 No 10 though Okay, let's oh my gosh <laughs> But you know, I, I wonder if I sent this in it's like oh my gosh look at this centering um, and uh, it's like, all right, maybe I can get an OC grade, but I think you actually have to get a certain uh, level to get the OC or the like the miscut, but this card is too beat up. Uh, definitely a low grade or deserving of a low grade, uh, but very nice Charizard. I love the texture. Man, during that XY era, early, um, I don't remember when in Sun Moon they transitioned, uh, but when you can see the texture, that's what I really like. Here is a, another Black Star promo Charizard with a really low grade. This one, let's see. Off center, a little bit of edge wear. PSA 8 is fair. What we got here? Ooh, good, significant edge wear. And uh, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty lucky with this near mint 7. So, uh, you know, when you're going with these bulk and, and they have so many cards, like, I, I do wonder if the consistency is there. And I personally, sometimes I feel like the, you know, the, what it takes to get a 9 or 10 has gone up uh which you know in in principle it's not really correct but you know if if the 10 is where it should be i don't know uh but you know when you're getting the lower grades than you than you're hoping for obviously it feels bad uh this card i would really love a 10 uh this is a from the premium collection box uh, essentially the during the burning shadows like there was no full art in this set instead they came out as a promo which is awesome but it had those prongs of death uh so i believe this card is quite difficult to get in the 10 and i still have some of those boxes but uh yeah just the the likely damage coming out of the box is very uh very daunting so this one actually looking from the front i'm kind of disappointed here because this centering is good and um during this time like i feel like these boards even if on the back the center ooh, okay so this is the opposite uh, where I feel like the back centering is good, but then the front is not and I guess it just comes down to the front and back have different centering Which is disappointing. You can see a little nick there. So That is fair What we got here? Another Charizard uh, Some edge wear for sure. Ooh, okay, so like some of the other cards I sent in we saw You know tons of edge wear and it still gets like a five or a six and uh, you know Maybe we're splitting hairs at this point, but why is this a four? And once again, I'm wondering if we get like the right angle, if there's just going to be like a crease somewhere. Um, oh wait, I see something maybe around there, but very cool Charizard right here from Dragon. Uh, so disappointing right there. And yeah, it is what it is at this point. All right, let's see. I think we got our last stack of cards for this submission. I think there should be about like 500 cards coming back from PSA. Uh, so plenty of mail videos come in and plenty of PSA videos coming um, Where again, we're, we're going singles right now less on this the seal product plenty of edge wear for this mold trace E excellent five But love this card All right, let's take a look at this one. This is a very nice card with a very poor grade uh, I feel like the back obviously it's off-center uh, But very little edge wear and we got the six very nice, uh, not the T7, the 18, but first edition hollow. And um, so, yeah, I'll have to comb this over again. 
because you know it's by no means a nine, no means a ten, but a six feels tough. Uh, I'm gonna set this one off this side. All right, what well, we got? Back to Charizards, and this is some cool ones. This is during that Delta species. Uh, so here we have Crystal Guardian Charizard, very nice. Uh, it's electric type, which is very cool. And all right, why is this a five? Eh, all right, back isn't great. And sometimes it's hard to tell, but I think when when you have the card raw, sometimes I don't know, it's just not dirty. It's kind of like smudge or just like worn. Like the the cardboard is worn. Maybe that's what's going on with some of these. Uh, here we are. Right, near uh, near mint to mint eight. Pretty happy with this. Again, like this Delta species time was like, you know, pre Alolan, pre Galarian, all those kind of like new variants of the same Pokemon. And then they just called it Delta species where they gave a new type. I thought that was really cool. And, but the, the Pokemon itself was, you know, basically the same. All right. Um, I feel like that looks like it's inside the case, but not on the card. I don't know. Maybe it's on the card because I got a five. But here I could see right here with, with the straight up. Uh, so when it's like five or low, I feel like they're has to be a dent or something and then when I can't find it myself that's when I start getting frustrated so much pretty good but it's just the Omega Charizard EX from Evolutions and we got a couple of these and uh, so this is when I finally can't got around to grading like all those times opening products uh, you know like late 20 teens early 2020s um, and there's always that Evo pack, and it's like, all right, finally got to send these around. All right, mint, or excellent five. Obviously, this is not, you know, the, um, you know, not the most expensive card, but I feel like it's a pretty tough grade. Uh, again, at, when it gets to this level of grade, there's probably a dent or bend somewhere. All right, now we're moving to the Hollow Charizard. So, once upon a time, I did a break. For a patron and they pulled a really good looking charizard and i bought it off of them and i sent it in but i have no idea which one it is because i sent so many and uh, so it, it i'm hoping it wasn't in one of these although this one looks good actually no this this one centering is you know off to this way a little bit so all right fair enough um but yeah i sent a lot of these <laughs> here's another one with another nine from the front, this one looks pretty good. Back centering. Uh, actually, nope. All right, we got we got enough edge wear where ten is, you know, or a nine is, you know, reasonable. Uh, let's see, centering doesn't look great. It's a little bit of edge wear, sure. Um, but yeah, would love to not just like have a ten in my collection, but have one uh, that I pulled myself. And this is the last one. All right, now we're moving into Champions Path. Uh, so I think this is like the most graded card or something. I think it was like 20,000 PSA. PSA 10s or something. Um, so I I like, oh, and I graded a bunch of these. This is this submission only had one. Uh, but, you know, it's if I didn't, like this card is so cheap. I think you can get like a 9 for like $10 or something. And like a 10 for like less than, I don't know, like 30 or something. Um, which is, you know, hey, easy Charizard. PSA 10 for everyone to add in their collection. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. <laughs> All right, and now the last one is some uh, Champions Path stuff. For whatever reason, there's no VMAX here. It's just shiny Charizards. And this is when, all right, at least we got some good grades here. We got a 10. We got a 10. We got a 10. And last but not least, we got a 10. Um, so yeah, in summary, like, uh, some, you know, grades I'm obviously happy with, some disappointments, and then some head scratchers of both. Why did you send this in? But again, the silver linings only cost $10. And then, all right, there's something on this card that I don't see because... Oh, wait, maybe, maybe it's that. I mean, nope, that was, that was on the case. Uh, but yeah, some of these, there's probably like a bend or something there that I just want to, I want to find it just for my own peace of mind. And it's like, yep, that's, that's a fair grade. Uh, but yeah, that's the first PSA submission we got back from the latest batch and a lot more to come. Again, I think it's about like 500 total. So look forward to more videos, some more mail day as well. Um, yeah, worth the wait. Actually, definitely worth the wait considering the price. But, uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.